A Central Illinois ministry recently marked a huge milestone. They sold their first mini house. Yeah, something they hope will change the face of affordable housing right here in Central Illinois and beyond. Volunteers with Restoration Urban Ministries came together to build an amazing home. And Ryan Burke, he's going to give us an up-close look at the home. At the corner of Elm and Maple on Champaign's north side, the grass is flying as volunteers work hard to make things look perfect. To Pastor Irvin Williams, it's the sound of people coming together. I believe strongly that community means just what it says, common unity, and that every individual that lives within our community is part helps to make up this. It's that common unity that's made a dream decades in the making come true. I started, I had this dream when I was 18 years old. A dream where you could build small. What it was was a neighborhood, a community area where there were decent homes, low income people could move in, could keep it, and again, feel like they're part of everything. And so what it did was went to our little church, which is a small group of people, and said, listen, we can do this thing. It's gonna take us a while. So what we wanted to do is take a little portion of what we take on Sunday as our offering, put it in a special account, and maybe if we could work, work up to thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000, then we could actually build a home. Everyone agreed. So we started putting money away. We looked around, we had about 27,000. We talked to a few people, they told us we probably could, with a lot of volunteer help, we could build a home for around that amount or a little bit more. This is what they were able to build, complete with living room, bathroom, and kitchen. A lot of people from the community come and volunteer. Even more importantly, a lot of the people, maybe through restoration, people in the community uh, who are low-income people, had an opportunity to see that it can be done. And so it take, it's taken us a couple of years to do it. When you take a look around this house and see things like new cabinetry, new appliances, and cool decorating touches, you really see how when someone moves into this house, it's not just a place to live, but a place they can be filled with pride. The big thing is credibility. You know, sometimes when you present a vision or a dream to people and they can't grasp it, it's not tangible. And by having people who are willing to uh, say, okay, we believe it can be done from the community coming in to help us with this project, it just made us feel good and convinced us that we can do this thing. And they aren't done yet. The city is interested in this project is that we can raise the kind of funds we would like where we can get started on the second one, hopefully before the end of this year. Changing the face of low-income housing thanks to a community commitment. So you may have noticed the for sale sign there up by the house, but we want to mention this first home has sold. They do have more projects, though, in the works. Yeah, Pastor Williams says he'd love to build 40 of these kinds of houses if he can. Just decrease the square footage, yeah. right? So it decreases the cost, gives people the opportunity. Cool stuff. And yeah. if you'd like to learn more about this home project build, you can visit CILiving.tv. Ryan's got some information on there for you. So 